The uh, government's education uh, COVID recovery programme is in turmoil tonight following the shock offer to resign by Sir Kevin Collins, the person appointed by the Prime Minister to draw up plans for extra tuition and uh, tutoring, uh, extra lessons, uh, children being allowed to stay on for an extra, uh, an extra year and so on to catch up from the lessons lost during the pandemic. This is a letter reported by the Times Education Supplement that Sir Kevin has sent to the Prime Minister this evening. It says, I am writing to offer my resignation as Education Recovery Commissioner. And he goes on to talk about the disruption in education uh, caused by the pandemic. And then he says this, when we met last week, I told you I do not believe it will be possible to, to deliver a successful recovery without significantly greater support than the government has to date indicated it intends to provide. And that's those uh, disputed figures, the £1.4 billion Gavin Williamson pledged today, and the reports that uh, uh, Sir Kevin wanted up to £15 billion, probably more like 13 we understand. He goes on. I am concerned that the apparent savings offered by an incremental approach to recovery represent a false economy, as learning losses that are not addressed quickly are likely to compound. And uh, he uh, concludes, um, as I've set out in my reports to you, I do not believe that it is uh, credible that a successful recovery can be achieved with a programme of support of this size. So, this is a row about money. Uh, earlier in the week, it was reported that uh, Sir Kevin's was propose proposals for a longer school day, uh, 8 in the morning to 5 or 6 p.m. at night, would be in the package of measures announced by Mr Williamson. They were not because of cost, a row between Mr Williamson and uh, Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor, over funding. And uh, now it's clear that uh, uh, Sir Kevin, the man who drew up the proposals, uh, is threatening to walk. We do not know yet, uh, for, with any certainty from Number 10, whether the Prime Minister has accepted his resignation. But this is an embarrassing blow. And, of course, uh, a lot of the critics of the government's uh, funding proposals, £1.4 billion, teaching unions, opposition MPs, other education campaigners will say, told you so, this is not enough. Um, today, the Prime Minister said that the uh, proposals that were... Uh, in, as he called it, the biggest tutoring programme anywhere in the world. Well, uh, critics have said that is not the case and it is dwarfed in comparison with what some other countries are doing. But uh, the whole programme now is in turmoil because the man who, was, uh, uh, who drew up the proposals and was due to carry on uh, with a review of whether the school day should be extended uh, by half an hour or whatever uh, to help children catch up. He's quitting, and so the government, uh, it, the whole programme now is in disarray and some embarrassment uh, uh, for the Prime Minister.